What is the best way to overcome struggle? Everyone feels this at some time. In your work, in your home life, in your relationships, through loss, your bills, misunderstandings. Struggle is all around us. Most of the time you can overcome struggle, yet what happens when it repeats itself over time or stretches out over our life? The problem with struggle is it can be overwhelming. Your life can become consumed with the struggle. And then what happens when we're consumed with the struggle? When our life becomes consumed with the struggle, it's like a dark cloud suddenly comes over us. Life begins to feel insurmountable and you feel like all your efforts are blocked. Your focus becomes more and more concentrated on that single struggle. And more and more energy, more and more of your internal energy goes to that struggle. You see other people around you not having to struggle in this way and, and you start to wonder why their life is so much easier. And you start to wonder why you can't find your way around this struggle. As struggle begins to consume more and more of your life, you begin to feel the worst thing about struggle you begin to feel alone. There is an incredible sense of powerlessness that comes from the sensation of feeling alone that just magnifies the sensation of the struggle and sucks all hope out of you. The great thing about you is that you're out here and so positive changes are gonna happen in your life. So give yourself a high five because your life is just about to get better. Just you being here shows that you're not powerless and that you're not alone. Whatever you think, you are not that person. And because you're not that person, you're going to find your way out of this struggle. Let me share a little bit of Chinese medicine and five element theory with you because that sensation of being alone comes from the metal element in five element theory. There is an imbalance in that element and that element is associated with the lungs and with breathing. And do you know what else comes from that element? The emotions of grief and sadness. Isn't that true? The more alone we feel, the more grief and sadness we feel. And I bring this up because the best way to overcome a struggle is to reconnect with your higher power, whatever or whoever that is. For me, I've found when I'm stuck in a struggle, I find a quiet place to sit and meditate and pray to try and reconnect with my higher power. And the strange thing about struggle is that even if you have family and friends around you, you can still feel alone. And I've always found that when I reconnect with my higher power, that I no longer feel so alone in this world. And it's that simple change in perspective that allows life to suddenly become more manageable. I can make a plan and this change in perspective may not offer immediate relief from the situation, but it will allow me to create options and it will allow me to accept that I'm doing the best that I can. And it will allow me to start reconnecting with the people around me, with my family, with my friends. I'm reminded of a beautiful poem, Footprints, 
where the writer of the poem is talking to God and asking God why at the most vulnerable and most painful and most traumatic times of their life they weren't with them because they only were seeing one set of footprints in the sand and God's response was my precious child I love you and would never leave you and when you saw only one set of footprints it was then that I carried you sometimes the internal stress is so overwhelming it's hard to quiet the mind enough to reconnect with yourself and your higher power there are tools out here on my channel to help you connect and recreate the life you want to live check out my three-part series on three steps to improve your meditation or check out my six part series on the six healing breaths these are the six healing breaths from Taoism these two series can help you quiet your mind enough to focus on yourself and reconnect with your higher power or check out my book caregiver survival guide how to eliminate stress in 30 minutes with Chinese medicine and other useful tools in that book it shows you how to rebalance your emotions using nature from five element theory and the interesting thing about nature is some people will go outside and come back in and say well I don't feel any different well you actually have to go to the right nature in order to release the negative emotions you are feeling so where you go to eliminate grief is going to be completely different from where you go to eliminate anger or anxiety or fear just remember you're never alone you've dealt with struggle in the past and you've already proven you have a hundred percent success rate in managing and dealing with struggle in your life find your higher power and remember you are never alone. Thanks for coming out to my channel. And until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.